Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. Miles, man, what up? Oh, crap, I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right. Take all right. Miles, all right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Symbiote Stream. And we are here with uh, more Spider-Man, as usual. And it's been fun playing this. We just got introduced to Miles, we just took down the demons, one of them, and we're on our way to the ceremony where Miles' father, Jefferson Davis, is being rewarded by Norman Osborn. So we're gonna head there right now. But before we do, let's go level up. Miles Morales, what's up, Elena? How's it going? Uh, so freaking sick. Good night, enjoy. Good night, Blaze. Have a good one. Uh, Veristatos. All right, guys, I'm going to give Sleeping another go. Take it easy, hide and seek, and good luck with your next surgery. Thank you, Veristatos. Uh, and thank you, Grifter, for saying goodbye. Everyone, say goodbye to Brick Blaze and Veristatos. I think they're going to be peacing out now. Um, appreciate you all being here. This is funny. So the Spider-Punk costume I have, I have that costume. Um, but... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna wear it anyway <laughs> like i'm gonna buy it because i have the dlc so they're like oh you can either earn it in the game or just use the dlc but i'm like oh i didn't put the, the dlc i didn't put the pre-order codes in i didn't care that much um all right let's see his power blast enemies with wave of righteous sound i like it we'll keep it boom we don't have enough challenge tokens. Hmm. All right, but before we go, we switch costumes to Spider Punk since we just unlocked it. And as I was saying, I have the, like I said, I have the codes to, to where we could have started the game with this, but I was like, eh, I'm, I just want to play the game. I, don't, I, I haven't even put in my DLC codes or nothing yet. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I just, I was like, well, let's just start the game. The game already took like two hours to download anyway, so. Alright. Sleep it off. Ba -bang. Oh, wow. Hey, what's up, round boy? He came right around the corner to two feet okay. in his face. That's amazing. Yeah, this suit's awesome. So in the comic books, this is Hobie Brown, who is one of my all-time favorite Spider-Man side characters. Uh, Hobie Brown is the Prowler. And this version of Spider-Punk in the comics is Hobie Brown from an alternate universe where he's in the UK. He leads a punk revolution against the president, or it's the president or the mayor, who is Norman Osborn. I think it's the mayor. And so Norman Osborn runs New York City and his enemy is Spider Punk, aka Hobie Brown. Um, and yeah, I, th when I heard that story, someone told me I was like, "Wow, I have the Spider like into or the Spider Verse comic," but I didn't remember that story. And someone was like, "Oh, it was in like this, you know, uh, little mini series called, e you know, not Edge of Spider Verse, but like, you know, Into the Spider Verse or something like that." And I was like, like it wasn't that, but it was something. It was like another mini series." And I was like, "Oh crap!" So I went and looked it up online, found the digital copy for like on sale for like ninety nine cents. And I was like, all right, I'm buying it. And then I read it and loved it. It was really good. It was like a little anthology miniseries of, like, each issue had, like, six six to eight page stories of these characters of different Spider-Man from different worlds. And, uh, yeah, Hobie Brown Spider-Punk was in one of them. All right, so Spider-Punk has done his good deeds for the day. Let's go check in on the storyline and see what's going on with Miles Morales' father. Right, 
here we go. And I probably mispronounced your name. It's Elena, right? Not Elena. It's Elena. Correct me if I, I, I if I got that wrong the first time. I apologize. There's the stage entrance. Ah, Miles and his time. dad. Yeah, earlier we got to play a mission with Miles' father, and I like instantly was like in like I was like this guy's awesome. Like they did a really great job making you like him immediately. I mean, come on, you say Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> All right. Come on, honey. Miles had a good dad. I can't wait for that movie, Into the Spider-Verse. It looks like a lot of fun. I love his dad in that one. He's like, he's like, say I love you, dad. Say I love you. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It's like such a dad thing. No, it's the second one. So, it's it's Elena, right? I think this gang. Or was Elena? You're, I was right the first time, Elena. Like, like over, over. It seems like in general this game has been really good writing its side characters. Absolutely, it has. All the way from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee, figure it out together. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know. Scumbag. Davis is a hero. But uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over. Uh, I'll cook. L A N. Oh, okay. A Elena is right. Okay, cool. Or we could, you know, uh -oh. meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal, cooked by professionals. For acts of extraordinary bravery. Uh, this is hard to communicate. That's okay. Elena, though. Okay, I'll say it. Elena. My privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with the Department Medal of Honor. Home call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Hmm. Who does Norman Osborn looks like an actor? I can't think uh, of the actor though. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. Hmm. My wife Rio and my son Miles. Without their support, I I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. <laughs> you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass, I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Interesting. Well, it's not every day you spook Norman Osborn. No, 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 what's that? What the f Whoa, whoa, whoa! What in holy hell? No way! God dang! Holy crap, a freaking terrorist attack by glowy people. Unreal. Miles! Miles! Oh, tell me his dad's okay. Tell me his dad's okay. No, I knew they were putting the cherry on top of liking him too much. Come on. Holy crap. 
Dang. Miles! Miles! Right here. Thank God. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Place my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. No Come way. On, We gotta go save her, right? Crazy. Need to get around somehow. Again, <laughs> Dang, dude. We're actually playing as Miles. This is crazy. Whoa, what? Already? She just got in here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Miles. Come on. Be strong, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. Square harder, right? I, 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 I'm too nervous to find out if it's like multiple taps because that's what I'm doing, or if it's like press and hold it, press and hold it. Um, Get down there. Get down there. What the, hell? what the F? Where do you think you're going? God dang, this is like a really... This did escalate very quickly, didn't it? Punisher's like, dude, this escalated quickly. Good God. I gotta give Miles credit. The ball's on this kid right now. Jeez. Dad was right there. Gotta help him. Thanks. Afraid to move. 
Oh. Whoa! Oh! Did I fail? boss you should really put a mask on dude a for effort miles yeah right the bombing wasn't enough you had to see all the people get murdered you know like head on like what was the point of sending more people in there to look for Norman I guess Dad. Dad. come Dad, no. on god dang wake up, wake up. Dang. One week later, holy cow. This guy, like... He was, he was being honored for being a hero, saved Spider-Man's life, and then he died saving... I, I mean, I don't even know if he managed to save anyone else. He tried to push some people to safety, but when he, like, dove down, you saw him grab those other two cops or whatever, but... Uh... Yeah, Miles definitely gets an A for effort. I mean, he he made it all the way up there. Try to get to his dad. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were going to say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Or don't worry. It's, it's a part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Jeez. Anybody crying? I'm not crying. You're crying. <sighs> okay. I do not want to earn a trophy for that game. How dare you? Yeah, it's a bleak day, that's for sure. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm busy. What's up? Have you started looking for Martin Lee yet? No. I told you, I can't start a manhunt based on a hunch from Spider-Man. But I'm telling you, he's the guy. Get me some solid evidence and we'll talk. Solid evidence. Right. Hey, it's me. thinking I screwed up, and that kid lost his father. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? They're not even looking for him. Even Yuri doesn't believe me. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. <laughs> Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. You think he's hiding out there? What, there's a bird? We know he's not at feast. Come on. If he's not at the recycling center, find some evidence as to where he might be. I don't be. have time for this right yeah. now. Good work, MJ. I'll let you know what I find. Oh, one more thing. 
I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. Corrupt? What does that mean? They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. Uh, makes you, you do okay? things you wouldn't normally do. Ah. Uh, uh. This is coming from a guy who can run up walls. I forgot his powers did stuff like that. So so people sometimes work for him against their will, huh? Uh, interesting. I kind of forgot about that aspect of his power, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I got some of your pigeons. Sandra? Tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, sure Sandra's gone, dude. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. All right, hacked in. Up the west side. I'm glad they're doing going this direction. Sometimes you gotta take stories in these darker directions to make it memorable. Well, that's true. I mean, sometimes, I mean, and you know, all the most superheroes have a little bit of tragedy in their backstory anyway. That is not uh, what happens to Miles' family in the comic books. Um, so it was very unexpected. But it's, uh, but I, I don't mind the change because it's, uh, it is keeping in tone with the story. And I think for Peter, sometimes what is better than telling like another origin story with Spider-Man. Sometimes what's better than that is, um, oh, what up? Is having someone else go through a tragedy that he might feel responsible for. I mean, obviously there's nothing he could have done there. He, his spider sense went off. He tried everything he could, but he got hit by a blast. I mean, it's, you know, not his fault, but still having that, you get that same impact of, uh, of a tragedy that, you know, because Peter... Anytime you start a Peter Parker story, he's already been through enough. Putting him through more isn't always the way to go. Um, so it's, uh, you know, I mean, him losing his apartment, like things like that, or MJ breaking up with him, that's fine if you want to go that route. That's that's enough to do to him. But to, uh, you know, you don't need to kill any more people in his life, <laughs> really. But if someone else close to him loses someone they love um, in a senseless tragedy, the way like Uncle Ben died or something, that could be a, a neat aspect to, to just you know explore, and it's so it's neat it's neat to see that. Alicia thinks she's toying with me, but I learned something in each of these scenes. Hmm. There it is. I think some big time lawyer lives here. I bet she's after his client list to find new targets. Hate to admit it, <laughs> honey, she's one smart cat. Whoa. Guns from Fisk's armory. These are the stolen weapons. Truck bombs. This is crazy. Great. from Fisk's construction site. Uh, they don't pay me enough for this and he leaves. <laughs> that's the appropriate thing to do if you're on a low-level thug and any superhero shows up. Just leave. It's a smart move, that's for sure. Lots of high-tech equipment. Maybe later I can recycle this stuff into some weapons of my own. Non-lethal weapons, I hope, Spider-Man. These must be where they're planning to attack. Wait. These are Osborne campaign offices. Dang. Someone's really after Osborne. This wasn't a gang war. The demons were stealing from Fist to go after Mayor Osborne. Hey, did you find Lee? No, but you were right. Lee's using this place as a front for the demons. Bomb making, gun running. Oh my god. And it looks like they're planning another attack. This time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborne. I found an address here. So I guess I in this universe, Norman Osborne has never been the Green Goblin. I hurry, I might be able to stop them. Because otherwise people would be talking about it. Or Peter would like, be like, eh. You know, 
screw it. <laughs> he would question his, you know, responsibility a little bit. Martin Lee and the demons are planning another attack, this time on Norman Osborne's campaign offices. Are you sure? We've had a lot of false leads in the past week. Trust me on this one. I'm sending you the address of a recycling center. You'll find all the evidence there. Got it. I'll get those campaign offices evacuated. But if you're wrong about this, you're gonna help me find a new job. So hoping we run into a pigeon or something on the way, but that's okay. Shipping. Dead consolidation. A lot of guys. I should try to do this quietly, but also with style. <laughs> with style, petite. With style. Open the gadget page. Oh, now you can craft the trip mine. I can use that stuff I found at the recycling center. Trip mine unlocked. Here we go. We, oh, we don't have enough challenge tokens. Dang it, dang it. So what do nice. we do now? Love using bad guys on weapons against them. Trip mine? Okay. Oh, sweet. And that, my friends, is what karmic justice looks like. I called street justice. Get up here. Stay. Is that it? Nope, there's one more. He's leaving. <laughs> Dang. NYC Crane Company. I think that's owned by Wilson Fisk. He's not out here. Better check inside. All right. I don't want to wait for my trap. I I Keep a ticket open. You could blow up half of Manhattan with the stockpile. Oh, what up? It's over here. Thanks. We have bases all around the city. Now we know where they are. What else can I find around here? I was going to say that, of course, there's still parts of the city that I haven't been to yet. Invoice from an auto shop. Pale horse rides. That's one expensive tune-up. Hmm. This is bigger than I thought. Looks like the demons have an army. Yeah, they sure do. Uh-oh. I thought it was really good. Harder than I thought, but good. Second playthrough likely won't happen for a long time, though, because life. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, that's like me right now. I'm squeezing it in, but it's not. I'm not going to be able to... Oh, what? There we go. I don't know what I was expecting, but it was definitely not this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a dude with a whip. Like with electric whips. It's electric. Boogie woogie. Oh shoot. Can we look into electric whips? You know, for in case we get back together. <laughs> no? Alright, fine. Spider Man's a freak! Please stay down. Tire! Get it? Because I knocked you out? You're tired? No, never mind. I effing hate those whip guys. Yeah, I already don't like them. I do hope they add more features in the suits and mods and such in a possible sequel, though. Nice. Oh, what's up, Echo Emoji? No, no, no. This one's mine. Alright. Who are these guys? I'm executing this son of a 
Whoa! That's not how we do things. Down. <laughs> uh oh. Code SM1. Whoa, whoa! Before we do this, who the hell are you guys? Code SM1. Code SM1. Holding for orders. Copy what? Code SM1. I have a visual. Hold for Silverbird. Oh, Silver Sable? Dang! Oh man, she looks pissed. <laughs> oh Jesus! What? She's like nice freaking Mila Jovovich in Resident Evil. <laughs> Yikes. No way! We got caught? First try, she caught us. Release him. He works with us. Wow, we are lucky. <laughs> Explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova, head of Sable International, a private security force, paid for by Mayor Osborne. Oh, jeez. Oh, the mayor has a pet army now. Next time you get in my way, I will not be so gentle. Go. That's we'll okay later. with me, honey. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I don't like... Don't tie me up. <laughs> Next time, I won't get in your way. <laughs> Dang, she took us down first try. That's impressive. Um, Silver Sable, though, I, I think she's a character that a lot of people don't really think of when they think of Sorry, badasses in the Marvel Universe, but she can be. Earlier, but it Definitely. So fast. It's okay. We're still best oh, buds. Right. We're not best buds. Well, that <laughs> took a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Sable has the mayor here buds. and unchecked authority. We've searched that address you gave me, found plenty of evidence of a bomb plot, but nothing that leads back to Martin Lee. I'm working so on that. Of course. This. All right, everyone who's watching, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching this later on uh, YouTube, I appreciate you being here for this episode. But uh, we're going to go, not for tonight. If you're here live, don't worry, we're not going anywhere. We'll come right back for one more episode. But if you're watching later, we are going to go away, and hopefully I'll get the next episode uploaded as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?